Let's start with question 12. It solved the simultaneous equations 4x plus y is equal to 14 and x plus 5y is equal to 13. I'm deciding to get rid of the y, so I need the same number in front of the y, but with opposite signs. So there's a 5 there, there's a 1 there. If I multiply the top line by minus 5, I'll have the same number but the opposite sign. So minus 5 by the first term, 4x by minus 5 is that. y by minus 5 is minus 5y, and 14 by minus 5 is minus 70. Now that will allow me then to add vertically, or subtract vertically, the y's are gone. And I'll be left with minus 19x is equal to minus 57. So now we need to solve for x. When I bring the minus 19 that's multiplied by the x here across, it'll divide under. Minus 57 over minus 19. x works out as plus 3. Because minus divided by minus is a plus, And 59 divided by 19 is a 3. Now that's most of the sum done but we now need to find the y value as well so that's what we'll do next we find the y now to find y i'm going to take the x value that i found and sub it into one of those equations i'm going to take that one because i think it's a little bit easier so if i write that down there we go sub in the x x was 3 that's what we found there plus 5y equals 13 and then solve for the y. So I'll bring the 3 across, it becomes negative. 5y equals 10. y equals 10 over 5. So y equals 2. And what we were doing previously is if the answer was in terms of x and y, if those were the two variables, I said that uh, these two equations were lines. And if you plotted the lines, the point that you find uh, with these is the point of intersection. So the answer in point form is 3, 2.